In New Hampton, New Hampshire, Officer Bob Mancini is on his way to an animal rescue. A woman hit an owl and she wrapped it up in a blanket and wasn't sure what to do with it. And ultimately she brought it to our regional fish and game office and built a little lean-to around the owl to protect it and uh, called us hoping to get the owl to a rehabilitator. I'm gonna check on the owl. I really hope it's still alive. I think she definitely went above and beyond as far as trying to give the owl the best chance of survival. Mancini heads to the back of the building where the woman said she had left the owl. Just looking at it right now, it's, it's definitely, some of its feathers in the back are pretty roughed up and it seems disoriented by the way it's trying to look around. So a little, bit in worse condition than I was hoping. Well, its wings are flapping pretty good. Um, I don't want to stress it out any more than I have to. Best way that I can try to cradle it is to just keep both wings in. It's got a little blood on its face. Definitely appears that it's got more of some head trauma. It's not using its eye. I'm gonna give it its best chance, and the best chance for me is to bring it to Squam Science Center. I'm just glad I made it in time. I'm gonna hold on to him. I have him swaddled. Even if I put him in a small kennel, like a small dog kennel, it's just too hot back there. See how his head is just like resetting. The vision on his left side is not working. His eye is completely shut. He's disoriented. He needs to be able to still have that will to live. I'm certainly concerned. It's not too much further, buddy. It needs to want to eat and still feed itself and drink water. And if there's significant head trauma, then that's going to be that's gonna be very difficult. So, we're almost off, buddy. You've made it this far, just keep trucking. You'll be all right. I've brought other animals here before, specifically kestrels and some other birds of prey, and I've had luck. So I'm very confident that the Squam Lakes Natural Science Center has the ability and the resources to, to help rehabilitate the owl. Hi there, how are you? Good, good. Good, we've called Animal Care. Okay, um, okay. And, and meet with you. Get some information on great, it, you probably great. Know. Yep. I don't have a ton of information. Basically, I got a call in the wee hours of the morning. A woman driving hit it. The only thing that I can really tell you the is eye. that it's got oh, okay. left eye injury, but its yeah. wings seem to be working okay. It does have a little bit of road rash behind its uh, left wing, um, but its claws are still working. The talons are still working, and its wings are are flapping. I don't know if there's a if there's a break. Standing up all right. I think the main thing is the head, and I'm not sure if you guys can do anything with that or not, but I figured you have more knowledge than me yeah. in trying it, so. I'll do an exam on her when I get her up top. Thank you for all you do, I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. All right, take care. Too. I'm feeling really good right now on the way over. I was concerned because I didn't think that the owl was responding the way that I was hoping, but the biologists and Liz, they, they both think that it has a pretty good shot of living, which is, um, a shot in the arm for me. You always want to see it have a happy ending. 